All right, maybe you thought you guys might want to see how I make my SO42 lenses. I don't know the exact size of these. I've actually never even seen them. I just saw a picture of them and I figured, ah, uh, about two and a half inches wide by about an inch and a quarter. And I, I don't know how close it is. And, and then I'll drill this with the holes here. I'll put the switch down here and I'll put two hole, two little holes in here to hold my aluminum housing. And I just make that out of aluminum. It's a little dirty. I'll clean it up. It'll be fine. Um, yeah, and it's a little out of form. It's not perfect. But you know what? When it's in the car, it looks like that. So here's how I do it. Made a pan form. Like that. I believe this product is, I'm not sure it was uh, Plex. It's one of the Plexes. Um, I think it's Lexan uh, Pan, uh, Lexan 50% uh, is what I got. So it's got 50% light. I'll go ahead and clamp that on there. Now I put my middle vice grip about where I think my screw is going to be, or my light switch, because it's going to leave a mark right there. So then what I do is I'll take my good old Harbor Freight torch, heat this up along the edge here. I'm going to set you guys up on the sideline here in a second. I just want to get a little shot of this. I heat this up for a while and now if you keep the torch moving, if you hold it in one place too long, it'll start to bubble and you'll get a little bit of crazing going on. But if you just kind of fan it like this, um, and you keep it moving it, it, eventually it'll start to bubble but you don't want it to go quite that far and if it does a little bit yeah you end up with a cool looking little bubbling in your finish you may not like that but it look cool too you know it's better than not having lenses right all right let's give you guys a little better angle here I'm gonna hold the camera through the whole thing Need two hands for this part coming up here. So I just keep doing this. You'll see how about how long you need to do it for. It's yeah, I do my clamshell lights the same way. I made them for my other hand the same way, um, and I pan formed them onto. Uh, I made the shape by using a grinder. That's how you cut this stuff. You can use a cutoff wheel to grind it to make it to cut it, or you can use a jigsaw. But if you use a to the course of a blade it'll crack so okay we're starting to pop just a little bit that's when it's pretty much ready to go now you take this guy and this around here I know you guys are going oh my god never even thought of that so I clamp one of these guys down here And clamp. It's really hard to do on camera. Uh, clamp one over here. It's hot. Can't use welding gloves either. Or you'll leave a nice imprint. Hands clean if you can. Let that sit for about 10 minutes. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to do the other side. So while that's cooling on that side, I'll start heating up this side. Uh, whatever that is. It's on fire. Hopefully I got it pretty even. I, I don't care really. It'll be so much better that it has them, right? My clamshells I do the same way. I just use a piece of metal that's whoa, a little too hot. A little too close. I was paying attention to the camera, not paying attention to what I'm doing. Usually I don't burn it. 
Let's see it didn't do much to it, did it? That's not quite there. I need to get this edge a little bit hotter right here where I want it to bend. The clamshells, I just cut them into the right, uh, right size and then I take a grinder and grind them into shape. And I take a piece of metal formed to the roundness that I want and I heat them up and put the clear or you can use the same material on those and then just put it on there and let it let it kind of form you'll see it start to bend like that when it starts to bend that's when it's about ready let's see turn my flame off okay let's look here Hot. It's hot, but it's not like terribly hot where it will just totally burn the crap out of you. It's really hot though. It's like picking up a hot spark plug, right? Anybody ever done that? It's a little hotter than that, but not much. It's a little bit hotter. It's let about uh, five to ten minutes, five minutes or so, and then we'll take a look at it. Okay, let's take it off and look at it. Ice print mark there, just a little tiny mark. I hardly even see it. While it's cooling, you can kind of still kind of straighten it out a little bit. And if you want to, you can sit there and heat it up again and then kind of carefully use maybe a regular glove, a clean glove, maybe a white glove or something like that. And you can kind of straighten it out. But otherwise, I mean, shoot, doesn't that look cool? Just uh, drill your hole here for your switch. Put your two little holes down here for your screws. Put it up on the uh, on the area of the bus, and uh, you've got your interior light. Fifty percent. This is called eighth inch thickness. Uh, they sell it on. I'm a little off. That's all right. I can take a grinder and grind down that side a little bit, even them out. It's not something you'll really notice on this end. It's a little crooked. You know. It's just, it doesn't come out perfect, but it comes out nice. And then uh, you can get this on Amazon. This is just, this is called 50%. Uh, and this is, a, I get it in 12 by 12 sheets. They're only about 10 bucks or something like that for the stuff versus, I, th I don't know what they charge for these. On the Samba, probably uh, 60 bucks or something like that. Be a little nicer maybe, but who cares? Then you got it. Before you had it, didn't have it, now you have it. Talk to you in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe.